We're back with some more Sly 3 Honor Among Homies. Uh, we finally got to play as Panda Boy! Yes! Hey, you know what sucks? Finding out all that time that I spent buying all the upgrades only to find out there's a fuck ton more. Oh my god, dude. The money rates are shit! Anyway. Hey, Murray, check it out. That strong box should be the prime router for the hardwire phone lines. Yeah, hard phone lines. You're the only one on the team strong enough to open it. Crack the lid, and I'll be right down to reroute the wires. With some luck, we'll be able to listen in on Sal's conversation. Sure, Penelope. Easy for a muscle man like myself. Just keep clear and let old Mercules work. Um, okay. Do we just go up there and... That's bad gas! This is all my fault! Hang in there, Murray! I'm coming! Quickly, take the foreigner to the highest peak and blast him to pieces. Be sure to leave a trail of gunpowder. All must be done in accordance with tradition or the ancestors will be displeased. Oh, so follow the gunpowder. He's as good as dead. No, there's still a chance. Use your RC car. It should be fast enough to beat the lit views up the mountain. It's the only tool we've got to save Murray. Like, what are you supposed to do here? So to just follow it? Thank in the RC car. Okay, so that was just a race of, hey, beat the fire up the mountain. Got it. Okay, that was kind of tense, actually. I'm just thinking to myself, like, um, what do I do? Must I just find a way to extinguish it? Nah, you just gotta beat it. Well, at least Bentley's mission is, like, right here. Hey, Bentley, are you and Murray finished fixing up the van? I'm afraid we'll need a new power source. The old polycellular battery has lost its core. Okay, is there one around here I can steal for you? Penelope's aerial reconnaissance has located a candidate, but due to the delicate nature of the work, I should be the one to decouple it. So, what? Can I help out here at all? Stay close. I'll need you for charging the battery.
<laughs> Stay close. Okay. He's not here. <laughs> I guess I'll just meet him later. Why is there always a dude right here? Oh, night night. Y'all can just fuck off. I put one of your dudes to sleep. He's taking a free nap. Who cares? Hello, my pretty. I don't know how I feel about the way you just said that. Is the battery complete? Yes, it just needs to be charged. Seems like that might be a problem in these parts. Well, if we took it the rail, what happens with that? <laughs> Hold it right there, Sly Cooper. Don't move or I'll zap you. Sorry, Carmelita. Gotta go. <laughs> what the fuck? That sounds so counterintuitive! You're shooting the dude! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wait. Charge the battery. Right, because, you know, electric. I. Yeah. It's kind of interesting again, like to play some of the characters that were always like the antagonists, you know. Although Grant Francis, he's, you know, shoots fly. <laughs> so aggressive. Yes, Interpol. I've captured Sly Cooper. Repeat, captured Sly Cooper. Requesting extraction unit. Over. Nice acting, Sly. The battery is fully charged. Plug it into one of the main light outlets to stabilize it. Then we'll attach it to the van. But be careful. Now that the battery is full, it won't absorb any more of Carbolita's shots. No, really. It was an easy capture. I don't deserve a medal. He was practically... Yo, see you get me now, bitch! <laughs> oh, I went the wrong way. Let me guess, don't take any hits either, right? That, that doesn't make sense. Oh, and she caught up! Hilarious! <laughs> I'm like, try and get me! Okay, hey, guess what? Claw number? Oh. Can you not? I'd appreciate it if you didn't chase me no more. Bye bye. <laughs> Being chased by every enemy in the game. <laughs> no, thank you. Nice job. It won't take long for the battery to stabilize. Oh. oh. So now I can go back home. Okay. Alright. So let's see around. Oh yeah, she's right there. <laughs> oh, and of course! There just happens to be dudes who know exactly where I am because fucking plot. Oh, right. It's... Why not? Uh. Excellent! The van is ready to go! You rock, Sly! Damn right. The van is good again. Oh my god! Are we gonna kill him now? I call it Operation Wedding Crasher. This will be a multi-pronged job with two groups working simultaneously. 
I'm sure I don't need to stress the importance of the schedule to anyone. First, Sly, Penelope, and Murray will make their way past all the security in Sal's treasure temple, and then drop the goods off to me for loading into the van. Meanwhile, the Panda King and Guru will tunnel beneath the palace, creating an escape route for Jing King. Sly, you'll have to pull double duty taking care of any topside security designed to detect subterranean assaults. Once you guys are done, I'll use my grapple cam to lure Inspector Fox into the palace, where we'll try to get her to take Jing King's place. Then, with the girl and loot in hand, we run for it. We run like fuck? Got it. All right, so this should be it for this place, because this place is fucking annoying. I mean, it's more annoying of the fact of what happened, again, with the game crash, and I'm not going to let that go. I am sorry. I know that might be already annoying to you, but understand that I spent an hour grinding only for it to just go to complete waste. So that's now officially two hours of my life just gone. I mean, at least this way, when I go to get the money for stuff, I'm getting also gradually used to the map's layout. Here, I'm just gonna rob you really quick because I'm apparently a broke bitch. Large gold bar? Nice. That's not, does even get me anything, but hey, at least I got money. That's <laughs> how true that is. I'm in green light position. Let's get a roll call. Ready! In position! I'm pumped! I do not die! I too stand ready. Even if we fail, it will have been an honorable effort. Jing King is not forgotten. Alright everyone, let's go. Now we gotta save Panda Girl, but come on. Murray are relying on your second story work to be let in. They should be in position by the front door. Opening the door for a lady. And some say chivalry is dead. I try to show my proper respect. You guys gonna be okay in here? The security's tight. Yeah, we're fine. You'll need to get moving if you're going to make your rendezvous with the Panda King and the Guru. Always a slave to the schedule. That's me. What's the plan? According to the blueprints, there's a security computer on the far side of the room under the dragon statue. I should be able to destroy it with my RC car, provided I don't trip any of the blue security beams along the way. Blue security beams? Oh man, this is tense! So avoid the blue. Got it. Like that one, for instance. Okay. Go right. Now go left. Eh, eh, gotta nudge it. Oh, that one's just... Yep, okay. Like, we just had this mission with the car, and now we're gonna have it again. Yay! Whoa. Okay. Let's go down this way. What the fuck? Oh, okay, I see. Oh my god, dude. No, stop it. Dude, this is so hard to control. Open. Yes. I do apologize if you guys are hearing my button, my uh, controller clicks. I, it's just stop and go, honestly. Oh, and this one's faster! Good. Jeez, how far is this shit? 
Ah, here we go. I was like wondering, it's gotta be close by now. That should do it. The laser door should be going away. They must have another computer or something. But there was only supposed to be one. The security nodes are still active. If that second computer fully boots up, there's no way we'll get in. Penelope, I've been doing this a long time. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that when the plan gets messed up, always fall back on the golden rule. Yeah? What's that? Great stuff! You, you're right! If I can destroy all the security nodes before the other computer comes online, that laser door should deactivate. Less talk and more breakers! <laughs> I don't have much time! All the security nodes. All the blue things? Okay, yes, because I see now at the bottom right. Okay, I guess that one just doesn't want to blow up. No, seriously, why does that one not blow up? That's like the last one, I guess. It's like when shit goes wrong, just break everything. Yeah, that's kind of a point I can get out. Okay, no, seriously, that's not good. That one will not blow up. What the fuck? That one won't blow up. Oh no. Now it does, what the fuck? Good, I get to fail the mission because the game didn't want to work. How delightful. Yes! Wow! You're pretty good at breaking stuff. I... Uh, I can respect that. Thanks, pal. Let's get that treasure. Yeah, you know. <laughs> now after we broke everything. like a double lever trap door. Call it out. I'm ready. On my three. One, two, three. Dragons? I got them. No, they got you. Okay, let's try it again. One, two, three. D I did hit it on three, mind you. Yeah. In. We we're in, yay, as I fall. What do you see? Is it awesome? There's plenty of loot, but the foundation looks rotted out. Totally unstable. Hey Murray, Sal's on his way to your position. How you coming with the treasure? We're doing awesome! Stand aside, Penelope! Cannon ball! No way! Uh-oh. Murray, you are a lovable idiot. Always a slave to the schedule. That's me. The Panda King and the Guru are in position beneath the palace. Once you're inside, they'll start blasting. Oh. 
Might as well do it with style. Oh yeah, because remember when you used to leave those behind? Yup. Okay guys, I'm here topside. The bases around you are used in an ancient Chinese security technique to detect subterranean thieves. Our tunneling to free Jing King will shake the palace. I get you. If any of the vases tip over, it'll trip an alarm. Correct. Don't allow them to fall. I am putting my trust in you, Sly Cooper. We'll get Jing King. I promise. Hafazavaza! The Guru's right. Let's get this show on the road. So what do we do? Smash him or no? Use zero to stabilize falling bases. Okay. Interesting. Success. Nice. We're directly beneath the bridal chamber, just a few inches from Jing King. Hear that, Bentley? You're up. with your grapple cam to the front of the palace. I left her a calling card and I'm sure she'll see it and come inside. Then it's time for a little subterfuge. Oh, and keep your position on the stilt platform. You're on point for the treasure drop. Yeah. Fuck, don't get, don't go up. <laughs> uh, Bat like, come on. I don't know, okay. He's right here, though. Where the fuck is this bitch? Guys have to brag even when they're running away. <laughs> she doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, Father, you have rescued me from General Sao. I was beyond hoping for such a thing. Yes, my daughter, you are safe. Heads up, Sly, you've got company. Oh, I thought she was just like new. Okay, uh, Bentley, Secret Plan Alpha is underway. You know the one where I disguise myself as General Sal and steal the Veiled Bride during the wedding ceremony? 
Yeah, make sure the whole gang's there. Okay, I I'm headed to the rendezvous now. Over and out. Sly Cooper and his secret plans. Who's this failed bride he's so interested in anyways? Well, he's not the only one who can play the disguise game. I'll give him and his gang a shotgun wedding they'll never forget. What is happening? What strange rumbling have disturbed my meditation? And on the very eve of my wedding? Do not worry, my bride. I will not let anything prevent our love from blossoming. Not even your misguided attempts to escape. Ah well. Perhaps my meditation will be more focused amid the splendor of my treasure temple. Carmelita took the bait. Where are you guys at with Jin King? We're in the van, waiting for the treasure and escape. Hey, Murray. Sal's on his way to your position. How you coming with the treasure? We're doing awesome! Stand aside, Penelope! Cannonball! No, way! Uh-oh. Oh, that's what happens. Okay, guys. Parachute down the treasure to me. I'm ready. Um, oops. <laughs> Your shit's kind of, uh, you know. Murray! Idiot. My family temple destroyed! Never have I suffered such an outrage! You shall pay! Eat it, Sal! I broke your yeah, I will be eating Sal. And I'll break your <laughs> face for messing with the Cooper gang! You cannot hurt me! Oh yeah? Heads up, Emily! Treasure chest coming down! The outrage! Stone Dragon of the Temple! I summon you! From rock to flesh, aid the family tower in this hour of need. Oh, that's great. Sweet strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Goes boom. <laughs> no, let go of me. <laughs> the tower line is master in this place. Hear me, Sly Cooper. My lineage surpasses yours in every way! It's not about the family name, pal. It's what you do with it. Slide! I'm okay! I broke my ball on one of these wedding fireworks, and it gave me an idea. Try and help! Smack this guy around to so let go! Oh, lovely. Oh good. Well, I fucked that up. Uh, I'm, 
I'm I'm over this. That, that was dumb. Feel like making an exit? My hero. I still win, Koopa. You might have stolen my treasure and thwarted my dragon, but I still have the bride. Jean King is mine. Uh. Man, you are just a douche nuzzle. Tail jiggle. <laughs> Jump in quick, and we're out of here. Uh, is that it for the dude, though? General Sal had his wedding right on schedule. Everything was as he'd arranged. Except the bride came as kind of a shock. Carmelita was a little disappointed it wasn't me she busted at the altar, although I doubt she minded taking Sal into custody. He did, after all, plague the streets with the undead. From what I hear, the locals were happy to see him go. We dropped off Jean King with her aunt. The Panda King insisted that she'd be safe there and that he needed to pay off his debt to the gang. I was still wary, but there was no denying that his skills would come in handy. Needless to say, we lived it up in the back streets of Shanghai. What kind of gang of thieves would we be if we passed up on recreation like that? And just like that, he's with the homies. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. That chapter is all done. Thank fuck. Okay, so here's the thing. Seeing now Dead Man Tell No Tales, I'm assuming this is the pirate level. I'm I looked around thinking there's gotta be a way. To to, to earn more money, right? It said uh, some sources were saying, use this level, because apparently I think this is like the best way to earn money. I gotta look more into it, but, uh, uh, Cold Alliance, least favorite chapter in this whole game so far. Just everything that happened between the game freezing after all the upgrades, finding out there were more upgrades, uh, that boss fight was complete total garbage. Uh, I can't wait to see what the fuck this has in store for me. Because I think this is where we get Dimitri, right? I mean, he's gotta be, like, he's... I saw it. He's in there somewhere. So hey, on the next episode, I assume there really won't be many chapters left. So man, we are breezing through this.